is the Gallarhorn. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I, I have no comments. We're just gonna open this because, um, yeah, we're just gonna open it. And I'm doing this in one take because they definitely I'm doing an unboxing video on this thing. We have. What's the matter? It's huge! Oh, oh my gosh! It's very white and orange. Good grief! Okay, we'll get to the nugget in a bit. <laughs> and here's the whole back. Oh my goodness, Stop. there's more? Yes, there's more! So here's all the attachments and stuff. And then if we, uh... Oh my gosh, this is humongous. Alright, we've got the, uh... We've got the I don't listen to political command starts. And, uh... We've got the shells. This is a lot of stuff. This is a tremendous amount of stuff. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. And uh, this just goes, oh, it's heavy. <laughs> That's stupid. There we go. <clears throat> wow. Oh man. This is the Galler horn. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and this just, this just fell off like immediately. Clips onto, oh, come on. What the heck, why won't it go in? There we go. <sighs> wow, what a nugget. What a nugget this thing is. All right, I'm gonna cut the video. We'll get back to this. Ignore this, please. So let's say you watch my Titan ZS50 video. Uh, you'll know that I like that blaster because it was so big and, and, and that was pretty much the entire reason why I liked it. I'm a heavy guy. I love big, stupid heavy gunner blasters. It's, it's kind of my thing. And I mean, I'm sure y'all had quite the chuckle when I said that the Nerf Judge was the biggest shotgun ever made. <laughs> Uh, y'all are not mentally prepared for what I'm about to bring in. And you have no idea what I had to go through to get here. But I desperately needed this in my collection, and if I put the judge next to it... Oh, yeah! I am sorry, judge, you are not the biggest shotgun anymore. Holy crap! This thing genuinely dwarfs everything in my collection, but yet you heard that right. You, you have no idea what I had to go through to get here. Unless you, you are like me, and, and you purchased one of these blasters successfully. It's time for everybody's favorite segment. Uh, it's pay attention time. Oh no. So even having access to buy this blaster was intended to be impossible unless you got the Gallarhorn in Destiny 2, which already was impossible unless you paid the extra $25 for the DLC. But that is just a DLC. You could get that and you could manage just to find your way through the game if you're good at first person shooters, which I am not. So you have no idea how much time I wasted on my PS4 trying and failing to get the Gallarhorn in game just so that I could have that access code to be able to visit the buy page for this thing. And so you are probably thinking at this point, well, if you don't really care about Destiny 2, why would you waste so much time trying to get this Nerf Blaster, especially because it costed more than $200 for shipping? Well, it's simple. Uh, this is a three dart mega shotgun that uses shells. Take it all in, let that process for a minute. That's cool. And if that wasn't enough, they don't just give you three mega shells, but they give you this one that shoots elite darts too and actually has really good performance out of the elite shell, but we'll get to the performance and all that stuff later. That alone was enough reason to buy this. Plus, 
Just look at it. This is just magnificent, but we'll get to the details in a bit. And you betcha I'm gonna go back to playing Destiny 2 because this thing has, has reignited my spark to want to play that game and suffer through more hours trying to get this blast. Oh my gosh, why is this thing so hard to get? Maybe it isn't even hard to get and I'm just a complete idiot, but you know what? We're just gonna stop right now. Let's get to the review. So starting off with the des the design. Oh boy. Woo! This is, um, uh, this is a new case. Um, nothing I say will probably give this thing justice. So I'm just gonna give you a full pan of the blaster. So, um, this thing has the mark of an artist. I have never seen greebling like this on any product. Not just blaster, no prop, no set piece, no anything. This thing looks absolutely incredible and unmatched by anything else. Like, I genuinely can't explain through words just how glorious this thing looks in person. You just have to see it. Another thing that you just have to see is the unbelievable sheer size. Yeah, it's big. And that leads us on to the ergonomics because this thing doesn't have a stock, but it does have a foregrip and a main grip. The main grip is heaven on your hands. It is honestly one of the most comfortable nerf grips I've seen in an extremely long time, especially in a day and age where ergonomics aren't actually ergonomics. It's more of just like what looks cool on your blaster. Uh, and that, that definitely goes for the case for the foregrip because this is the weirdest foregrip I've ever seen, but we'll get to that in a moment. The whole grip is filleted and it's actually relatively big. It's almost the size of the Strife's grip, maybe a little bit smaller, but definitely doesn't detract. The trigger has a plastic spring, but it's actually done pretty well. They made a plastic spring feel pretty good here. And as for the foregrip, it's at a backwards angle and it doesn't feel right at all, and I cannot get used to it, and it actually hurts my wrist after like five minutes of using. So what I end up doing if I actually wanna be practical is just putting my hand here instead. It's not the best thing, but it is a little bit more comfortable than using the dedicated foregrip. And as for the shoulder stock thing, putting this thing on your shoulder is like a rocket launcher brace. It's actually pretty comfortable, and it definitely gets the job done. And they definitely make up for this by putting the scope on the side, which is realistic to the actual game. But now it's time for the part that everybody's probably been waiting for. How does this blaster work? Because you heard me right, free dart mega shell shotgun. Pretty much a mega sledge fire, which is something I think everybody has wanted at least a little bit since the sledge fire came out. Well, it's pretty simple. This whole big chunky thing on the front is supposed to be backwards. And when you get it, it will be pushed forwards like this. The reason for that is because that's how you load in the shells, just like the real one in the game. You load it in with this notch facing up until it clicks, push it down, close the door, and then pull the whole thing back to prime. Now the blaster is ready to fire once, and it shoots all three tarts at once. Then to actually open it again, just tilt the blaster down, and it'll friction slide forward and partially eject out the shell. I would way rather just tilt the blaster down than actually push it forward because the, the actual ejection is a little bit better when you do that. Oh no, I forgot to flip the blaster over because you know Nerf's not gonna paint their logo on both sides. <sighs> oh, even though it's kind of their brand logo, oh, this thing's such a slog. They paint the Destiny logo on both sides. yip de doo And they actually put the scope there just like in the game. And the scope lights up with an actual nice LED. Uh, the LED on this one is substantially brighter than the one on the Mandalorian one, even though when you turn the LED on, it, it still does keep you from actually being able to see through the scope. It's impossible to see anything through that, but it doesn't really matter. This is not a practical blaster. So I'm gonna be doing the Mega Shells first and then the Elite Shell, and this is probably the part where any performance guy is just going to run to the closet and cry because the, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, we'll start with the Mega Shells and then we'll do the Elite Shell. 
Oh yeah, take that end strike performance. Uh, genuinely though, with Mega Shell, it shoots about end strike ranges. Which actually has really good performance. So, yeah, you thought. You thought I would do it. No. Nah, you knew. You knew I wouldn't. Mm -mm. Don't even pretend. What do I think of this blaster? <sighs> well, it is $230. It shoots and strike performance. It's so big and heavy that it needs a dedicated space in my house and is completely unwieldy for any Nerf war. It only comes with three mega shells that don't have any seal in them whatsoever and are going to require mods to even get basic performance. The foregrip sucks. And it came from a game that I don't even play. I'll take seven. I'll take 14. For the same reason I love the judge, stuff like this has a place in our hobby. This thing is just so cool and you will never get an experience like this again. It is just unmatched by anything else Nerf has made, or any company has made for that matter. You probably could not 3D print something like this because it is just so ridiculously huge that you would need 10 3D printers to get the job done without wasting a year doing so. And if you're a Destiny fan and you just want a prop, well, guess what? They give you a code to make the one in the game look like this one. That is detail that I never thought would be included on anything like this, but I'm so happy they did, and whenever I get mine in the game, I am absolutely going to apply that skin, and that's the skin that it's going to have uh, forever. That's just what it's going to look like. It's going to look like the Nerf one. Oh, and just the cherry on top, uh, it doesn't have an air restrictor. So if you plan on doing any sort of modifications to this, uh, you don't have to worry about air restrictors, this one doesn't have them. So despite the shells being bad, yeah, you can make new shells that are probably gonna have a way better seal, and uh, bingo. Your problem's already solved, you really don't have to modify this. But with everything I've said so far, would I say that this is a good blaster? Absolutely! This is just so cool and fun! I can't even compare it to anything else, because there's nothing else like this, except maybe the sledge fire, but even that, that's being very generous, because this has a completely different mechanism, and is trying to do something completely different. It's a giant rocket launcher! The sledge fire is a western shotgun! Two different things! Two different concepts, and two very different executions. Although I will say, if you're a performance guy, you're gonna absolutely hate this thing, because it's basically useless stock. But with everything I've said so far, if you do want to pick up one of these, hurry up! I will link it in the description, but I don't know how long these are gonna last. You better go fast, because they're, they're probably running out of stock pretty fast. Come on! Ten times speed! Go, 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 go! And I need to figure out how to set this thing up on, on, on in my Nerf room. I probably not, I'm not even gonna put this in the Nerf room, I'm gonna put it in a different room, because it's just, it's too big for the Nerf room. So, uh, yeah, with that said, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below how much money would you be willing to put into something like this, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Oh, with the flashlight! Oh no! <laughs> oh, we got an escapee. <laughs>